Have you spent any time recently with a newly engaged couple? Could you imagine any future bride and groom still wanting to go ahead with their marriage plans if they'd spent the last few months pointing out the weaknesses in each other? Ever noticed how easy it is to start focusing on what's missing in the person you married? This doesn't happen overnight, of course, but gradually, little by little, it is so common to start paying more attention to the flaws in your spouse than the positive qualities. How awesome could your marriage become if you started turning the spotlight of your attention back to the good stuff? What if you started shining a bright light on the traits you admired most about your spouse? Isn't it fascinating that when we were dating and engaged, we instinctively practiced the 4-8 principle. Instead of looking for and finding shortcomings, we looked for and found strength. What did we do differently then? Well, we naturally aimed the spotlight on the things we loved and respected about our future spouse. When you actively 4 H your mate or shine light on your mate's good qualities, you discover there are many more qualities to celebrate as well. Because shining the light on just one good quality illuminates another, and that one reveals another, and then another, and then another, until your mind is lit up with the wonderful qualities of your spouse. Maybe they've been there all along. And just imagine pouring that much positive light on your spouse. How can it not reflect right back at you? Too often, darkness creeps into marriages simply due to stressful, turbulent thinking, from couples neglecting to shine positive, uplifting light on each other. So yes, our spouses come with both junk and joy, and it will always be this way. But when you 4 H your mate, you'll find that the negative dark fades away as soon as the positive light fills your relationship. You hold the spotlight. Where will you point it?